chapter six of Walden is called Visitors. In this chapter, Thoreau comically states, I love society as much as most and am ready enough to fasten myself like a bloodsucker for the time to any full-blooded man that comes my way. Not exactly the most rapturous description of having company, but Thoreau wants his readers to know that he enjoys receiving regular visitors. I had more visitors while I lived in the woods than at any other period in my life. I mean that I had some. Among them is one of his favorite people, a woodchopper whose stout but sluggish body belies his natural nobility. This man's happiness and novel observations cheer up and intrigue Thoreau. But Thoreau also finds him more animal than human. I did not know whether to suspect mm. him of a fine poetic consciousness or <laughs> stupidity. Thoreau's best room is the woods behind his house. If he doesn't have enough food for his visitors, he simply avoids mentioning meals. But guests keep turning up. Other visitors are half-witted men from the almshouse, boars who overstay their welcome, nosy housewives, children who are welcome, and runaway slaves. He's always happy to see honest pilgrims who came out of the woods for freedom's sake and really left the village behind. This chapter proves untrue the proposal that Thoreau is a hermit. Thoreau comments that he's glad to see guests as long as he can welcome them on his own terms, preferably outside and not standing too close. Nonetheless, Thoreau never actually uses the word friend in this chapter. His favorite visitor, the woodchopper, seems to mm. Thoreau as much a subject for scrutiny as for <laughs> human friendship. After an enthusiastic description of the man's many virtues, Thoreau dispassionately adds that his intellectual and spiritual sides were slumbering as in an infant. Still, I occasionally observed that he was thinking for himself and expressing his own opinion. Yet Thoreau risked serious penalties for helping runaway slaves escape to Canada, something he did repeatedly. His cabin was too small to hide anyone, so he took the runaways to his mother's house under cover of darkness. 